Hello, my name is Louis Pelivos. I hope you had the opportunity to look at the prior videos on uh, prophecy and share them with others. Here are another five signs with a limited interpretation. Number 36, Temple Institute. 37, the Red Heifer. 38 and 39, the Temple Items. And number 40, Messiah Fever. Regarding number 36, the Temple Institute is an organization in Israel focusing on the endeavor of establishing a third temple. Its long-term aims are to build a third Jewish temple on the mountain, on the Temple Mount, excuse me, on the site occupied by the Dome of the Rock, have worship to reinstate animal sacrifice. It aspires to teach uh, and reach these goals through the study of temple construction and ritual and through recreating of actual temple items, objects, garments, building plans suitable for the immediate construction when conditions permit. It runs a museum in the Jewish quarter of the old city of Jerusalem in Israel. It was founded and is headed by Rabbi Yisrael Ariel. As part of its ongoing effort to prepare for a future rebuilt temple, the Temple Institute has been preparing ritual objects suitable for the temple and for use. Many of the over 90 ritual items to be used in the temple have already been made by the Temple Institute. As of June 2008, a major project of the Institute Institute, excuse me, was the creation of a sacred uniform of the Kohen Gadol, that is the high priest and the ordinary priest. This project, the combination of years of study and research, had already been underway for seven years. Several years, excuse me. The high priest, Hoshan, breastplate, and the ephod have been completed. The tits, or tits, the golden crown of the high priest was completed in 2007. We were guiding number 37. The red hyper, in addition to a variety of items required for service within the temple, the Temple Institute has attempted to locate a para aduma, which means a red hyper, consistent with the requirements of Holy Scripture, Numbers chapters 19, verses 1 through 22, and the Mishnah tractate para for the purposes of tahara, which means purification. And I'm sorry that I have to use these words, but they're important, and it's important for the Temple Institute. And these items are necessary to enter the Temple sanctuary in most circumstances. Previously, the Institute identified two candidates, one in 1997 and another in 2002. The Temple Institute had initially declared both kosher, but later found each to be unsuitable. More recently, in 2022, 5% unblemished red hyphers were brought to Israel from the United States and found to meet the qualifications after being inspected by the rabbis. The red hyphers will be fed and cared for until the time they are to be slaughtered and used to create the necessary ashes for the purification as required in Numbers chapter 19 in the Old Testament. Lastly, Jewish believers are awaiting the Jewish Messiah. Regarding 38 and 39, the new temple, per the prophet Ezekiel's vision, had to have specific vessels and measurements of an inner court, an outer court, uh, a place for animal sacrifice, the place for priests, the holy images, the Holy of Holies, and the glory of God, which permeated throughout the temple. Please see Ezekiel chapters 40 to 43. Priest's vestments have been justified because of the high priest wore vestments, but the Lord Jesus Christ and the apostles did not wear vestments. Just what is the proper tradition on this issue? The curtain in the temple by the Holy of Holies, was torn apart when the Lord Jesus Christ willingly gave up his spirit to his Father. 
Please read Matthew chapter 27, verse 51, 50 to 51. The Lord Jesus Christ became our high priest and sacrificed himself for us once and for all time. On the cross he stated, It is finished. In Greek, tetelestai. Please read John chapter 19, verse 30. Regarding number 40, Messiah fever is enchanting all worldwide religions. There were more messiahs in uh, history, in Judaism, Christianity, Islam, and other religions, as well as other sects. For example, from the time of Jesus Christ until now, there have been more than 50 Jewish false messiahs. However, not one false messiah has fulfilled biblical prophecies like the Lord Jesus Christ. There have been numerous messiahs here in America. Jemima Wilkinson, Ann Lee, Thomas Lake Harris, Cyrus Teed, Father Divine, Reverend Jim Jones, and David Kress. The love of God, the Father, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with us always.